Today I want to show you a nice little library where you can quickly add to your projects to animate elements on your website. It's called animate.css by Daniel Eden and you can find it on this URL here. I'll put it in the description below. What this CSS does is a simple CSS style sheet where you can add to your code and it will perform many fun little animations to any elements. So I want to show you how you can add it to your project and perform some cool things with it. Let's get started. I have a little code base here and at the moment it's a very simple HTML CSS JavaScript project and I actually went here and downloaded the anime CSS locally or you can actually go to the github and then take the CSS here and then view raw and you can copy paste it to a new project. I did it here called animate.css and it contains all the source code to this thing. All I have to do now is to include the animate.css to my projects and I'm done. I'm also going to add some jQuery to it to show you some fun little uh, effects that I'm going to do. So our website is going to be very simple and I'm going to run it now and you can find the source code on my github. I'm going to use live server. If you don't know what that is, it's an npm module which will start a local server from the same directory and using the Visual Studio Code terminal window here, I can just run terminal without opening up a separate terminal here. So I'm just going to type live server and the server just start and here's the website. Now this is a simple website I made with the uh, name of the tutorials from Pentacode as a list. And there's a button called randomize. So when I want to when I click on the button randomize, I want each of these to start animate randomly with animations from animate.css. Now how does animate.css works? Well, if you look at the the, the code for this app, which is app.js here, Ignore the things on the bottom, but let's start here. When the page loads, I'm setting an animation name called Fade In Up, which is part of the animation package from Anime CSS. And all I'm doing is select all the allies and then remove any existing class and then add the class animated and the name of the animation. And that's all you need to do to create animations with this. So if you notice, if I refresh the page, you notice if Fade fade in and it moves up. Now if I want to change it to another animation, let's say I want to change it to pulse. If I save this, as you can see the animation changes, it's now pulse. And there are many animations. If I do flip in X, as you can see it does a flip effect. And let me just pick, let's try jello. If I do jello, See, it's very fun. It's very easy. Now, if you if you inspect each Li element, you'll notice that it's class called animated, and then the name of the animation. So, if I want to try out all my uh, all my um, animations from Anime CSS, here I have an array of list of animations, and on the on click event of the randomize button, I want to apply a, a random animation to each of these allies. So the code is very simple here. On each ally, well, on the randomize button clicked, for each ally I want to randomize it and then add the class of anime and the name of the animation to each. Now if I do this, if I press randomize, as you can see each element gets its own animation. So it's very randomized. As you can see, it does, it's pretty fun. So this library is very simple to use and it's free and I highly suggest you give credit to the author, Daniel Eden. And I hope you find this useful and you can add it to your project one day. And that is all for this quick little tutorial and I hope to see you in the next video.